You see, نحن, our lives is full of distress and calamities and problems and hardships. Well, you could probably say more than a third of our calamities is because of magic, evil eye, envy, jealousy of the people upon, uh, upon others, the evil of a shayateen and the devils and their plea with mankind, and the evils of our own self as well. A third of our calamities is because of all this. And the other third of our calamities is because of our sins and our disobedience and transgression. And so when you seek forgiveness, the calamities that are a result of your sins are removed. And those calamities are kept away from you. And you don't know. Sometimes your sickness is because of a sin of yours. You don't know. And the problems that are in your house is because of a sin of yours. And the trouble between you and your brothers and your sisters could be because of a sin. هذا حديث هذا حديث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ما تواد اثنان ففرق بينهما إلا بذنب يذنبه أحدهما there are not two people that loved each other and came close to each other and then فرق بينهما they separated and took different paths and ways except that one of them is a sinner one of them has committed a sin and one of the consequences of sins is that he becomes hated by those that are around him. Shuf subhanallah, how much is Allah Azza wa Jal covering of our sins? Wa'afu an kathir, Allah says. He covers many, many of your sins and he does not uh, send consequences for these sins. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, لأنه الحليم, الرحيم. Sometimes, until you don't know, the financial troubles and problems that you're facing could be because of a sin. Rather, the, the calamity of the entire globe and what it's going through could be because of the sins and transgressions of mankind, as Allah Azzawajal would say, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ فَإِذَا seeking forgiveness will reduce these calamities. And adhering to the adhkar of the morning and the afternoon guarantees a person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection. وَبِنْ كَثِيرٍ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ He brings our attention to something very important. He says, wear the coat of adhkar. When you wear the coat of adhkar, it protects you from the evils of the humans and al-jinn. And then he said, cover your soul with al-istighfar, so that it erases the sins of the day and the night. And these things that Ibn al-Qayyim, uh, 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 Ibn Kathir rahimahullah mentioned, these two types of worship, which is adhkar al-sabah wa al-masa' wa al-istighfar. And if we wanted to yani, summarize this, we can just say adhkar al-sabah wa al-masa' because al-istighfar is included in azkar al-sabah wa al-masa. We need to know that these two types of worship, if a person was to adhere to them and remain firm and steadfast upon them, wallah, and bi-ithnillah, he'll find many blessings in his life. They are life-changing.